In this video, let's see another property of the topic of properties of determinants. Now we already know what is the first property and we have seen a numerical problem on the same. In this video, we are going to see the second property. Let's read what it is and we'll be seeing some theoretical approach to understand it. Now, the value of determinant changes, the value of determinant changes if any two rows or columns of determinant are interchanged. These properties you have to memorize and practice as well, right? So, in the first video, we had the first property related to it. In this video, we are having the second property which says that if any two rows or columns of a determinant are changed, are interchanged, then the value is subject to change. Let's see with the help of some theoretical approach. I have say a determinant and the name of the determinant is A. It is a general determinant having again A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. How to evaluate this? Expand along the row 1. I have already explained how to do it in the previous videos. I am just doing it quickly, not explaining. So it is A1. Remove the first row, first column, it is B2C3 minus B3C2. Please watch the previous videos for further explanation. It is minus A2 and you have what? Ignore the second column, ignore the first row. B1C3 minus B3C1. Last but not the least, I have the third element which is plus A3. And what happens is you ignore the second no, it is the third column and the first row. So it is B1C2 minus B2C1, right? This is done. This is done for a determinant A. But what we need to prove is if any two rows or columns are interchanged, the value changes. So interchange any two rows or maybe columns. So let me interchange now this first row and this third row. What happens? Let's see. If I interchange it, I have supposedly a new determinant. Let's name it A dash. The rows are subject to change. I am saying that R1 and C, R1 and the C1's element, you know, this is R1, this is R3 with elements naming as C1, C2, C3. These are changing. So I write here C1, C2, C3. What operation I am applying? I am basically interchanging R1 and R3, right? These rows are interchanging. B1, B2, B3 does not change. B1, B2, B3 does not change. So this is my B1. This is my B2, this is my B3. Last but not the least, what I have is I have C1, C2, C3. So this is C1, C2, C3. Understood? So when these values are there, I basically know that let's make it more clear first of all and then let's speak later. So it is B1. Now what can be done is since I evaluated along the first row and now I have interchanged, so let's evaluate along this third row and you see that we have made a mistake in the case that we have not interchanged. We cannot write C in both the cases. This has to be A1, this has to be A2, this has to be A3, right? Now let's evaluate among the third row. Along the third row means what? It is A1 only, right? Remove the third row, remove the first column, you have a subdeterminant. Why I am writing the subdeterminant? To make you things more clear. Now this is which kind of element? This is third row first column. So 3 plus 1 is 4 which is even. Okay. Now this has to be minus. So it is minus A2 and a subdeterminant. Remove this column of second. Remove this row of third. So it is C1, C3, B1, B3. C1, C3, B1, B3. Last but not the least I have plus A3. Again a subdeterminant. Remove this third row, remove that third column, C1, C2, B1, B2. Now by watching the previous videos and the knowledge till now, you can already evaluate it. Still, I am expanding it by cross multiplication in all these three subdeterminants. What we see? Let's do it. It is A1, B3, C2 minus B2, C3. Then it is minus A2. B3 C1 minus B1 C3 last but not the least it is plus A3 and what is it? It is B2 C1 minus B1 C2. This is what you see. Compare the both results. A1 is here, A1 is here, right? It is minus B3 C2 here, 
here it is plus b3 c2 it is plus b2 c3 here it is minus b2 c3 minus a2 minus a2 fine both have minus a2 b3 c1 here negative b3 c1 here positive see if you compare every element you know that there is only difference of one thing what is it it is the sign so that means negative sign can be taken common if this value that you are obtaining is named as del this whole value that you obtain here can be named as minus del because the only difference is what of the sign you can take minus sign common hence prove that if any two rows or any two columns of a determinant are interchanged then the value of determinant changes